what's up team welcome back to j3 entertainment you guys already know what time it is it's reaction time y'all yes <laughs> Woo. and what we reacting to today brother x-men 97 episode 7 bright eyes bright eyes hmm. that speaks to me i wonder what mutant this is uh focused on because mm. <laughs> the title always usually gives us a little something so. yeah yeah Who's the title with their eyes the title doesn't really speak to me but the the based on on what we've seen and what this buildup has been like, mm -hmm. I know something's about to happen. Yeah, like, yeah. I got that feeling. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they told us. They told us episode five was something big. But guess what? If you thought you saw something then, you ain't seen nothing yet. Because right. so, I'm, I'm, I'm ready <laughs> oh, yeah. to react. Yep. That's time. Let's get these headphones yep. on. As they say, back let's Fox get kids. it started. Fox Kids. Good old days. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right. You gentlemen ready? Oh, yeah. yeah, man. And we're going to start this ride. Y'all in the Blackbird? Yes. Okay. All right. And we're going to take off. Give right. me a forecast. <laughs> now. Previously on X-Men. Ooh, ooh, bro. Her voice is growing on me big time. It's good. My children of the atom destroyed. I know who we need to see to find Bolivar Trask. Henry Gyrick. Oh, the Sentinel creator. For some reason, he reminds me of Dale Gribble. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Hank. Oh, I, I love this part. Oh, yeah. What are we going to get next? Yeah. Show us something. Here comes a new challenger. Show me your moves. Oh, I'm going to Oh, that was a little new shot. Hey, we didn't get no new shots. No, mm -hmm. I'm not seeing nothing. So they're playing mystery this time. Like, no more secrets. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, we starting here. Okay. Oh. Well, there's our answer. We got his brother, Bill. Damn. Ah, uh, Nightcrawler is the priest. Like it. Life likes the cards. Ooh, eyes are glowing. That's tight. Love it. Every gambler has a tell. Modesty was gambits. Damn, man. Man. Talk about start off with a heartbreak. Right, my boy. How could she not be here? He saved all of us. Yeah, Rogue wasn't there. Her. Oh, yeah, he loved her. Logan, you were spared witnessing that which Hogan I saw in Genosha. What she battles is not mere grief, and our dear Jubilee is wise to be afraid. Damn, here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, look Flexion. at them eyes. Okay. Look, revenge oh. tour. Right now. Revenge tour. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> she with the victory. business. Golly. Epic. What's going on? <laughs> Yo. Yes. I've been saying that all day. <laughs> yep. Jump flying jump kicks is the go-to move now. Yeah. Whoa. No sick. Yep. What do we do, sir? Gentlemen. Nita Ross, baby. Thunderbolt Ross. Our intruder is an unhinged mutant from the swamp. Are we gonna get the Hulk? She ain't no. He mentioned him. <laughs> he talking crap. Now I know you know why I've come a knocking. Where are Henry Gyrick and Bolivar Trask? Thought your kind were the good guys. You killed those, sugar. Now you get me. <laughs> mm. I love it. That's what you don't want to hear. They think Dr. Trask just kicked off an all-out war between humans and mutants. Scared voters see me helping your kind. Sorry, son. Just, uh, uh unfortunate op optics, sir. <laughs> Guess if Genosha had looked more human, you would be more focused on death tolls over polls. Now, hold up. I'm playing politics here to ensure someone less kind to your cause doesn't end up in the office you're so quick to disrespect. Great strategy. The Check the headlines, Mr. President. They're all about the virtue of patience. Yeah. Ooh, Cyclops look tight, bro. Mm -hmm. Stellar work, Amelia. Triage dies down when the dead stay dead. When we first set up and the injured started flooding in, bad things happen. Everyone wants to be a survivor, but when you actually see one fresh off the belt, a survivor is the last thing I want to be. Damn. Dr. McCoy, Hank, oh, this place. I'm so sorry. I'm heartened to know that it is you who will bear witness to what happened in Genosha, the death of the dream. Walk with me. Would you like that? Please. Well, Lou does blush. <laughs> <laughs> Man. She's about to get her break. That breaking story. 
the Hank McCoy. All right. Woo! Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get in the way. <laughs> Thumbs up, soldier. Where's Henry Gyrick? Genosha wasn't just a mutant tragedy. It shames us all, but rampaging across the country dishonors those who were lost. Skip the hogwash and tell me what America's top cop is doing all the way out here. Like you, I'm hoping to use Gyrick to get our hands on Bolivar Trask. He built the Sentinels. He's the natural first suspect for that mastermind. We got a team up of Rogue and Cat, bruh. <laughs> Last week, Gyrick was transferred out of U.S. custody by some covert division in the U.N. This uniform shows up in Mexico bashing heads in with you. It sends a message. Damn right that you stand with mutants, unless you don't now. Gotta do this by the book, Rogue. Right now, my hands are tied. He's the first Boy mm -hmm. Scout. Well, yep. if your yeah. hands are tied, you won't be needing this. Whoa. Jeez. Yeah. Get out my way. <laughs> Watch you. Damn. I, I, I feel it though. She's like, if you ain't trying to help, get out the way. Strong guy. Tight. The priority for the foreseeable future must be damage control. How oh, tall order when mutants everywhere are taken to the streets. Riots are the language of the unheard. Martin Luther King. But smashing windows is destruction, not communication. Normal people won't accept mutants if they feel threatened. That fear is the whole issue. Perhaps the professor's vision for the future was too nearsighted. Look at the animation. And begging wow. for your tolerance was our first mistake. Now forgive me. I dare not waste any more of your tolerance, Miss Tilby. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. Yep. Bolivar. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea where Bolivar Trask is. Honey, this ain't that sort of pro. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm talking about. Fatality. Mm. <laughs> oh. This so, yeah, much okay. death can stain a place. So many last thoughts. They can smell. Oh, oh yeah. that was tight. Yeah. <sighs> Scott, someone up ahead. A telepath. Madeline. Mm -mm. Knew it. Hey, your girl. Knew it. <laughs> Diamond transmutation Diamond has never been one of Emma's abilities. I've always done well. <coughs> Under pressure. Under pressure. Because you know how you take a diamond? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait for it. That was tight. Optic tears. All X-Men to the Blackbird immediately. It's Trask. Come to the UN Peace Legion in Madripoor. I'll clear the building. Note this lobby vending machine is never out of diet. Come see the horrifying face of your future. Hey. They got him spooked. To review, Trask created Master Mold, i.e. all of this is literally his fault, i.e. we can't trust him. <laughs> really is Stranger Days. Buckle up. We head to Madripoor. Mm. War is coming. Right? Let the body sit the flow. Yep. We go in, charm with small talk, and... My, I'm a mutant. <laughs> <laughs> or that. Tie straight to it. Respect. This is such a relief. It, it is? is? Baby, four of our homes have caught fire mysteriously since you turned 16. And do you truly think your father and I believe a band of Somali pirates hijacked your yacht in the Hamptons? You knew. Why didn't you say anything? Your father and I agree. It was your secret to tell. A mother knows. Tight, right? True bond. She was like, boy, who you think you fooling? Shareholders are rattled by anything mutant related, especially after this awfulness in Janosha. They can't know we have a mutant in the family. So we'll have to discuss some new rules concerning your associations and how to be more discreet. Mm. Spritzers? <laughs> I get her though. Make yeah. you alibi. Yeah. Oh, Kurt. Indeed. It is I, sister. How do you feel now? Well, a bit of a headache, but I'll live. Was it day of the dead? Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. Remy's dead, but that don't mean I'm ready to accept it. We all grieve in our own way. You sure pulled the short straw in the adopted sister department, didn't you? Got the gal who goes bonkers over 
losing a boy. Over losing two. And her confusion is only natural. But she did not cause Gambit or Magneto to be killed. She helped them live. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that girl surely coming in handy right now. Mm -hmm. Mutant of wisdom. Hi. <laughs> you got a friend in me. Right? Yeah. Team needs balance, and they're definitely getting that right now. Bravo. Just as you dreamt it. Yet you nearly ruined my surprise. <laughs> oh. Mm. Wait a minute. <laughs> Mmm. I guess his hands really smelled bad. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, booty. Gotta stop these uh, plans now. Yuck. <laughs> oh, man. Soap, water, use it. Now we know what Trask meant by clearing the building. Sleeping gas. Praise be. They're never out of diet. Uber secret break room behind a busted vending machine. Mm. A game, bad guy. A game. That car looked tight back there with the blowing eyes, man. Right. I made the Sentinels to protect normal people. Damn, it's getting dark. Now I am become dead. What about Mr. Sinister? That madman is one of the most brilliant engineers in history. He said my designs were cute. He's building a new type of Sentinel. Worse than what we saw in Genosha. The technology in these cases light years ahead of ours today. Mm. How could he even obtain Apocalypse. such access? I don't yeah. know. But I won't let him make me any more of a monster than he already has. Easy boy. You want redemption? Help us get the real bad guys. What else can you tell us? Anything helps. I'm sorry. I, I have nothing. Then you Same with sugar. Oh. <laughs> yep. Dang, okay. Mm -hmm. Nightcrawler got him. No, we don't. No. <laughs> 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 Confirmed. Mm -hmm. Dog, what have you done? What we all wanted to do. <laughs> right? Savage. That maniac killed Remy and thousands of people on Genosha. I mean, yeah. That rotten piece of scum put a good man, my man. Terminate. Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, shoot. Yep. What the? What in the name of all heaven? Trask has mutated into some sort of human sentinel. Okay. Prime Sentinel Protocol activated. Yep. Terminate mutants. Oh. I thought that was a techno virus at first. I think this might be worse. Summers! Gene, you get the building. I'll get the debris. Ah! Dude. <laughs> My man. Yeah. That food tight, bro. Right? I can still sense Trask's mind inside. He put Rogue down with one hit. We can't pull our punches. X-Men, take him down. Quick oh. snow, baby, oh. yeah, let's go. More quick than work. Right? Ooh. Really now? Let's go, Gene. Oh, OK. Our hands. They've been watching a lot of Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mutants neutralized. Oh! Ooh. Do you remember what my inferior form asked you in the Sahara? No. Tell me, orphan, how does it feel to be abandoned by the future? Cable or Bishop? Cable, baby! <laughs> nice. Yep. Electromagnetic cluster grenades are the quickest way to take these suckers down. Cable? What the hell are you doing? Oh here? my god, chills. Woo! Oh, I see. No. All along. It can't be. Get out of my brain. You're not her. Oh my god. Nathan. Let's skip the reunion, <laughs> Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Sinister's working for someone else. Someone worse. And if you X-Men don't stop him, there won't be much of a future worth living in. Oh my god. Admit it. You're impressed. Impressed by your masterpiece tipping your hand to the X-Men? How does this help you deliver the prize you promised me? Trask was a rough draft. Dang. Oh, sinister. 
You and the villains of old have been failing since 92 to squash these pests. Damn. What you would do is my roadmap for what not to do. Who is this guy? I knew it. Nifty Bob, right? I've had to be bad lately. But heat, like music, it softens things, softens follicles, opens pores, makes the flesh. I knew he wasn't gone. This way, once I have to get to work, smooth as butter. So long as you stay still. So long as you don't resist. Simply listen and obey. See, you were born for this. Damn! Wait, what? <laughs> oh my wow. god. Oh no, you don't leave me like that. What is going on here? They left you just like that. <gasps> Woo -wee. They're tapping into the psycho mentality, like I said. What is going on here? <laughs> I'm confused. Bro. Man. This is this is dope. I I gotta say, I, I'm I'm happy Nightcrawler's here. They need him. Right. Now more than ever, like, cause there's a you have the leadership and then you mm -hmm. have the the consultant that's there with somebody that they can go and talk to. Yeah. And I like that. He's kind of like that, that grief, you know, like yeah. tell me what's going on. Like, and he's got the power too. So when they're able to get down, they can do that. So I like that. We have the balance of Cyclops leadership and Nightcrawler, two of the front men that are kind of bringing balance with the team. Cause uh, they're kind of dysfunctional right now. And there's bigger problems outside of Genosha. It looks like we're getting multiple wars at the same time. We getting time yeah. and, and present. Yeah. I mean, future and present yeah. war. Right? Damn, damn man. So what? reunion's over, damn. I, I'm scared for the team. Like <laughs> I, like this episode, this is a lot of, a lot of fear factor in this. Right? Especially we know that there's no limits. Right. You know what I mean? You can get got, you know? Yeah. Damn. It's crazy. Like it, it looks like we have a like am I tripping or do we have a looper situation going on here? It, or it kind of feels like right? <laughs> no, it does. It does. And trouble I trouble in the past is affecting the future. Yeah. And we have members that have already seen both. Yeah, so, yeah, and like it looks like the guy who 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 yanked Magneto is fr is from the future. I guess I'm I'm guessing. Oh, I'm I want to know more. Yeah, man, this <laughs> this episode really breaks it down and get us into a next three episodes. Man, this is gonna be amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, the human central uh, that was pretty terrifying, man. I got like a uh, Terminator one vibes, right? Like that was pretty crazy with a supernatural uh, spin on it. Like that was pretty like legit. Yeah, and I felt like that wasn't the only one. The creator kind of did that to himself. What if there's like more of that out there? Well, yeah, that's, that's they the were thing. saying the upgrade, and uh, mm -hmm. there was like a new evolving with it or something. I, I knew Magneto wasn't gone though. I knew he was going to be still. He was going to come back. But because one one way that we knew that it was that Professor Xavier felt Gambit, but mm -hmm. he didn't feel Magneto. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's oh man, it's going to be dope, man. I'm I'm really psyched. This this is what I'm calling epicness. Like this is a filler episode. Good and, filler at that, and, yeah. But you know how they, this was a, this, fillers are usually like, why did you do the episode? You just did it to get by. Mm -hmm. This is fulfilling. <laughs> I'm, I'm filled. I'm filled. We're going right. to prolong this to keep y'all coming. Yeah, yeah I, I'm filled. This is a good it's filler. That. This is, like you said, good filler. I'm full. Yeah. This is what filler is mm -hmm. all about. Some meat in that sandwich. Yeah, man. Pause. No diddy. <laughs> all right. To me. Our anticipation. Uh, man. <laughs> yeah, man, this is this is really good stuff right here. I man. also will say, uh, it was it was fire as hell seeing Cap and uh, Cable front and center, like actually with the team, like they're gonna play a big factor, like with the next few episodes that we're gonna get. I'm just wondering who else gonna show up if Cap showed up. Yeah, because right. Cap isn't it? Because you know Cap was mm -hmm. in uh, was it was it X? It was Spider Man. Yeah, mm -hmm. Cap was in the Spider Man. So and he said his team. Uh, he's yes, the I caught that commandos, too. So I was like, okay, and, mm. is it the Holland Commandos or is it his other team? Uh, true. And you know, <laughs> you know, it's one my thing. Prediction, y'all. Let me. Uh, one prediction. thing I, I will say, uh, I do have to go back and and step into the comic book and try to see some stuff. I don't really want to be spoiled, but I wonder if we're going to get an introduction to Black Panther because they are mm -hmm. dealing with some high end technology. And since and, Cap is here, it makes sense. And, and Cap is here, and the Wakandans yeah. do have the technology that yeah. probably can help them out. That'd be something interesting because Storm didn't show up. No, she didn't. You know what I'm saying? But everybody's traveling across. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They, so yeah, Storm might be. I don't. I don't know. But they, that that would be a delight to see if you see something like that. Uh, and I'm loving the fact that Morph is bringing us character. Garen is not the original character, mm -hmm. but Morph is giving us characters that we've seen in the past 
in the future episodes and it's still giving us that effect like oh, okay yeah. cool he's, you know, he's quicksilver and he's you know what i mean the blob and then he's running around and he's uh, uh mm -hmm. psylocke and stuff like that's really cool to see you know what i mean and, and it's very uh uh, uh fan base like it, it really enhanced the fan fandom mm -hmm. with this episode and i i'm, I'm pretty i'm gotta watch it again but i think i saw the actual blob in this episode yeah he was there he was okay. he was uh, carrying some stuff yeah, yeah. um like, his big ass wasn't finna get up off the island. <laughs> Where he finna go? Right. Yeah, he had him and uh, the other uh, strong guy. Yeah, strong yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rogue's cool Revenge fans. Tour. I'm loving it. Yeah. I I was loving it because and like I was feeling it. She was like, "Oh, you ain't you don't know nothing. You ain't worth nothing then." <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> yeah, he's gone, man. Just threw him off. But you know what I mean? I felt that. I felt I felt her pain. Mm -hmm. See, it's one thing when you do animation, and you don't really see it like that. But uh, I know in anime, you show, show it a lot when you can get a dramatic scene out of voice and animation acting. And I'm really feeling Rogue's pain. I can feel it. I can understand it. And it's, it's a beautiful thing to see it visually. You know, um, I, I want to see the uh, the height and where they can get us into, man. Mm -hmm. Because if this show continues to go on and we're going to run into some heartbreak, I wonder if I can, I wonder if X-Men could give me a Jiraiya scene. Ooh. That'd be crazy. If X-Men could give me a Jiraiya scene, where you oh. sitting there balling up, balling in tears, bro. Oh, man. I'm, I'm there. Well, it was very subtle, though. You know, my, my guy, Cyclops, he shed a tear with the visors on. I was yeah, like, all right, yeah. well, man, hey, mm -hmm. if he can do it, it, it can happen to anybody. Well, yeah, the acting is good, yeah, man. Yeah, the optic it's, tears. Yeah. I, I was there for it. Yeah, it's radiated. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, you know, Nightcrawler came in soothing everybody. So, you got these personal vendettas going on. And I, I also wanted to speak on the finale battle. I thought that was great. You see what they can do together as a team when the odds are against them. Like, yeah. There's like super threats, man, and uh, I thought that was great. Yo. So the animation again gets it right in that thing, like where it's like they're dysfunctional, but when it comes time, that team kicks in, it's like it's do or die. It, yeah. I, I don't know what everybody they say they think. Well, <laughs> when Professor Xavier shows up, yeah, it's gonna be some problems. Because uh, and, nice. and that that little tease right there towards the end where he showed he had hacked the satellite tells me he, he's probably gonna leak that out. Um, but also. Seeing the Rogue's display of strength in the beginning of the, of the episode, and then it when she got one shotted by the human sentinel, that really like sold his strength. Like, whoa, yeah, like, yeah. he's strong, yeah. <laughs> like, he's strong. oh man, but, uh, well, and Ross, man, shout out, saw to him, man. Yeah, oh, yeah, he got taken out with funky hands, <laughs> right? Right, no, 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 that was uh, that was uh, yeah, Ross, yeah, General Ross, General Ross didn't get taken out. Like I wonder if he's gonna go. Thetius I wonder Ross. if he's gonna turn into the Red Hulk. That would have been crazy if that happened right there. Right. He did mention it. He said something. We said about the Hulk, but yeah. but that, and crazy if he turned to the Red Hulk mm -hmm. right there, like that'd have been crazy. He was you like, think they'll do that? Hey, I, the sky's the limit. I wouldn't right? mind when they threw in the Watcher. Yeah, yeah. You already you already entered. It opens the door. Like the MCU is the 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 Marvel, uh, cinema Marvel comic book universe is open. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. There's, you know there's no think? limit because they show they because sh remember these, you're on to something. These mm -hmm. shows all appear uh, showed up at around the same time. You know, you had Spider Man, you had Silver Surf, you had Iron Man, yeah. you had the Fantastic, Fantastic Four show, you had the Incredible Hulk show. So you had all these shows going on at the same time. So and they all coexist with one another. You know, Spider Man had Blade. Yep. He had Daredevil. He had Punisher. Ghost Rider. Uh, up in there, uh, right? Ghost Rider. Yep. Ghost yeah. Rider. And then and then Iron Man. I believe Iron Man had Ghost Rider, Punisher. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the Incredible Hulk had, you know, what I mean? so yeah. they all they all coexist. So I'm, I'm happy to see all that. Um, Do you guys think Spider Man will show up in the finale? I don't know why he would, but I wouldn't right. mind seeing at least swing him by. Yeah, that'd be crazy. Now they did mention him in the premiere episode in the newspaper, so you know. Yeah, Daddy Bugle. He ain't lying. Before we get out of here, you guys already know what time it is. It's time to ask that question. Okay. If it's your first time coming to the channel and you're taking a look at our X Men '97 reaction. For the last couple episodes, I've asked previous questions to you guys and you guys. Yeah. Because I like to take have fun with you guys and we all have, you know, take part in the questions. Great, it makes the yeah. community that thicker. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or that much thick, I'll say that. Mm -hmm. Facts. Or thicker. No, no, I mean, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <You But anyway. laughs> so, first question was this. If you could be any Marvel character, preferably an X-Men, who do you personally resonate with i'm talking about who you are who do you resonate with that's the first question who did you resonate with nightcrawler nightcrawler kurt wagner yes who did you resonate with master mode <laughs> omega red 
Mr. Sinister. All great characters. Thug number one. <laughs> extra, extra. No, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Uh, I'm teasing. As, as you can see, I, uh, I've never really thought about about myself as an X Men character, so I picked somebody whose personality I I was cool with. Who? So, I, so that's why I picked Havoc because that personality right. I was All cool. Right. With. I guess we're gonna roll with it. It's been three weeks. He thinks he's Havoc. He likes a hole in his chest. Iron Man. <laughs> I, but I chest. said, but but you said all of Marvel. And I said had I said specifically I know, I know. the Havoc from X Men Evolution. All right, there it is. He's Havoc, good, y'all. Master Mode. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Second question was this, guys: If you could be with any character as your love interest. Who do you choose? I gave everybody. We had we had two honorable mentions, and then we chose our love, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, let's just go with our love. All right. My man was Mockingbird. Your man? No, the shit. <laughs> oh. Did I say that? I, yeah. Oh my god. Uh, Paul. My man was Mockingbird. All right. My lady. When I say yeah. he's my man, he's really my man. <laughs> yeah, I know what I meant. Yeah, but Mockingbird the spy. Channeling that rogue right now. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. So, All right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. So, <laughs> y'all know what I mean. Y'all know what this yeah. is. All right. This is ninety seven. No, that's true. That's true. Not twenty twenty four. All right. So, uh, <laughs> that's funny. All right. Um, I chose Firestar. Who you got? Storm. Storm. All right. Today's question is this. So we basically creating our character, right? If you could be with any team in the Marvel universe. I'm talking about the Marvel Universe. Which team do you resonate with? Which team you gonna roll with? Which team you gonna stand by? Which team you gonna collaborate with? Who y'all rolling with? Who wants to go first? And Let y'all answer that too first. in the comment section down below. <laughs> Let him go first. Go ahead. Uh, I definitely, I need some people in my corner that's gonna help me survive and things like that. So I was thinking the X-Force because I've always been interested in time travel. I, I understand bounty hunters. I like people that protect and, you know, can see the past, present, and future. So I think on that half, we can see the mistakes we made along the way. And I can learn how to be a soldier, on, you know, on top of that, too. That, that's very unique for Nightcrawler. Yeah. Teleporting yeah. and then time traveling. And I'm merging with them, yeah. I'll roll with it. Yeah. Nice, nice choice. You want to go? Um, Off the top of my head, just think, thinking about it, I'm going to say the Shi'ar. Sea space, travel. See, see what's out there. Okay. And I got a big crew if you want to mess with me. <laughs> okay, bet. I feel that because, you know, your dad is a pilot. Yeah. So you will go in and try mm-hmm. to follow his foot. Okay, bet. Okay. For me, I like being smart, scientist. I'm beast. Who do I fit in with the best? What group? I'm just going to be honest. Keep it 100 with y'all. Mm-hmm. The Illuminati. Oh, <laughs> I'm there, y'all. Bam. Okay. okay. I'm with the best of the best. We making decisions for the rest. Stick it, Ick. I feel you. I'm I there, you. man. So we team up. Yep. We come together. You know what I'm saying? And mm. there's money being involved. And I could speak on behalf. You know, and, and I don't even think I would be. I think me and Professor Xavier, it would be a very good collaborate team up because he's kind of like the mm-hmm. the big brother or father for me. So me standing side by side with him, I think that'd be really dope in the Illuminati. Just be at the oh table. God, I wasn't like, expecting that, but that's a, that's I, a cool I can, thing. No, I can see that because he, that's just him at the table like, hey, man, check your meds. We don't want no issues right now. <laughs> yeah, I could be sitting like this, like Having this. Meetings, right? Right? Professor Xavier was like, well, personally, I think that we should really stop, beast. My man said he ain't having that shit, all right? That's what's going right? to go down. That's what it is. Mutant court in session. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't. No, I think I, I think I'll roll with the Illuminati. But I want to know who, which, what character you choose, what love interest you choose, and what team you choose. And I can't wait to do one next week for you guys. But guess what? It's not about us. It's, it's about, about y'all. y'all. Post your comments down below. Let us know what y'all thought about this episode. We already know Rogue was on fire, and that Captain America man, that that was just <laughs> icing on the cake. That was cinematic entrance. You right? feel me? Yes. Oh my gosh! Yes. Woo! Goosebumps. If you're new to the channel, go to press that subscribe button. Thumbs up this video. Don't forget to share Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Also, follow us on Instagram and Twitter and watch us on Patreon for the full length reaction to this episode and many more. What are you waiting for? Come on. The Push IT. the button. Do it. <laughs> Push the goddamn button. There you go. <laughs> I'm J3. Run the show, guys. Ninja. It's your boy C. Road to 100,000 subscribers.